Hey, what's up? It's your girl Aishanique and I'm doing things the LeClaire way. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I took this everyday crew neck and made it into a stylish piece to wear. All you need is a crew neck, of course, and a couple few items I will link in the description and I'll talk about along the way. This crew neck was $4 at my local Fallows, which is a very cheap discount type store to shop and um, you can be very very fashionable for very very cheap and reasonable so I'm gonna be showing you how to become a baddie on a budget my shoes were 32 bucks and they're from AMI Clubwear the website is phenomenal and by far the cheapest for the same styles you find on other websites so all the hottest shoes right now they have them and they have them at a very beatable and comparable price. I've been kind of monitoring their site for a month now before I wanted to just speak on it. And it looks like they always offer between 50 to 55% and it beats out all the competition. These shoes are very comfortable. I mean, I feel like I can like walk in these shoes, stand in these shoes for a very long time. They look sexy. I feel sexy. You know, so for very cheap, you can look very hot. So, if you want to see how to become a baddie on a budget and how I turn this everyday crew neck into something stylish, stay tuned. Okay, let's get started. You're going to take a piece of paper and fold it in half. Then you're going to take a ruler and mark a diagonal line across as shown here. Cut across and you have your piece to make your v-neck. To make it even, I match the shoulder seams together to get a halfway mark on the neckline of the crew neck. Then I match the fold of the paper to the neckline and pull the piece up slowly to the shoulders and trace around it with chalk. Now cut out your v-neck. how it looks before you add the trim. Now take your trim from the shoulder seam to the end of your V and cut your piece. Once you have your piece, make an identical piece for the opposite side by matching the grommet holes and cutting an exact copy. Now you're ready to glue on the trim. You want to add glue to the crew neck as shown here. I'm using E6000 glue. Place the trim along the edge and make sure you are not covering the holes with the fabric. Make your necessary adjustments and make sure the notches are even on both sides. Let the glue dry and now you're ready to hit the town. The end. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe my video to get more videos like this. Thank you for watching.